A good Sunday morning. Thank you for joining us for this launch of Towards a Zero Waste and US 2030 Action Plan. And a very warm welcome to our guest of honour, Dr. Amy Ko, Senior Minister of State for Sustainability and the Environment, and also our School of Design and Environment's Distinguished Alumnus. The Sustainability Agenda, which is published quite widely this morning's paper, media and paper, is gaining importance at the national level. The then Ministry of Environment and Water Resources have launched a Sustainably Singapore Blueprint and a Zero Waste Master Plan. The recent renaming of the Ministry to Sustainability and the Environment is a reflection of the importance of sustainability as a strategic priority. Today, I would like to make three points about the role of universities like NUS in leading sustainability and climate action in Singapore. First, NUS is in a unique position to show the way to mitigate carbon emissions and adapt to climate change by test building sustainable solutions on our campus. We are working on a climate action plan to cool NUS campus by four degrees centigrade and a carbon neutral campus by 2030. The net zero energy building in SDE, in which this event is filmed in, is a good example of how we innovate to achieve a very low carbon footprint. We have reduced energy demand through various strategies and with over 1,200 solar panels on its roof, this building consumes less energy than it actually produces. NUS is committed to do more. We have planned to install more than 20,000 solar panels on over 60 buildings, generating a total of nine megawatts peak of solar PV system across our campuses. We initiate the campus greening program to reduce the ambient temperature of the campus, and measured results indicate promising findings. NUS will intensify the efforts by planting 8,000 trees a year, and by 2030, we will have planted 80,000 trees contributing 8% to NPARC's plan to plant 1 million trees across Singapore by 2030. This year, even with the circuit breaker, we have planted over 5,000 final trees at hotspots, car park, open spaces, among other areas. Second, NUS has the responsibility to educate our students to prepare them, not only for the workforce, but a new normal of a fast-changing world disrupted by COVID-19. Our curricula has imbued in our students interdisciplinary skills to synthesis, to synthesize and solve problems of sustainability that are often complex and multifaceted. The sharing of our students, Tommy from industrial design and Hima from statistics and probability, showcases how different disciplines such as behavioral science, product design and statistics can be applied to tackle the recurrent problem of contamination in recycling bins. I welcome our faculties and students to use the campus for more such interdisciplinary projects. Third, the university has a role in public service to shape the hearts and minds of our students to be future professionals and champions of sustainability. The launch of Towards a Zero Waste NUS 2030 Action Plan is an important step in this direction. We have an ambitious diversion target of 90% by 2030 and it's even set up from the 24% recycling rate in 2019. Everyone generates waste as a result of our activities. We will leverage behavioral science to grow and establish a campus social norm of diligently sorting out waste into various recycling streams. We have done so for three returns, and we are certain we can do it for waste sorting too. This will help ensure that our campus operations recycle close to 60% of our waste streams, food waste, packaging, e-waste, and horticulture. We will introduce pay-as-you-throw schemes to create an economic incentive to reduce waste generation and increase recycling. To further minimize waste, we'll phase out single-use disposables as part of tenancy requirements for all our F&B outlets. Collectively, we can create a community that takes price in the three R's, reducing, reusing, and recycling waste. With these three points of NUS role in mind, test-building innovations, interdisciplinary programs, 
in shaping the hearts and minds of the campus community, we have put together this event to share our action plan, to seek your support, and explore collaborative projects. Lastly, I'd like to thank our guests of honor, speakers and the moderator, for taking time off their busy schedule to contribute to this event. I look forward to a rich discussion during the Q&A session. I wish you a productive session. Thank you and stay safe.